Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 284. In today's episode, Starbucks partners on delivery deal with Alibaba. Starbucks is growing faster in China than anywhere else in the world and control 80% of their coffee market. And now they're testing delivery for the first time, teaming up with e-commerce giant Alibaba. The service will be run through Alibaba's food delivery unit called Elama. Starbucks China CEO Belinda Wong said, quote, We begin this fall in Beijing and Shanghai with plans to expand across the country as we enter calendar 2019, end quote. Starbucks previously partnered with Alibaba on the Starbucks Reserve Roastery in Shanghai, which is touted as the biggest Starbucks in the world, where visitors can watch their coffee being roasted from start to finish. The new deal will also see Starbucks integrate a virtual store to Alibaba's online shopping and payment apps, such as Alipay, Taibo, Tmall, Kobe, and Hema. That would also allow users to order Starbucks on their phones and have their drinks and food delivered to them in person. Quote, that opens 500 million or more active users of those apps that will have access to Starbucks, end quote. Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson told CNBC. Deliveries from 150 stores in Shanghai and Beijing are expected to begin in fall of 2018. By the end of the year, the Starbucks LMA delivery will be available in 2,000 stores across 30 cities. But this move is coming much later than expected, as much of the country depends on delivery service for just about everything. And its main competitor, Luckin Coffee, has already established a firm foothold. Luckin Coffee is an on-demand coffee startup and promises low prices and fast delivery. The startup, which launched this year, has seen tremendous growth, opening 525 stores in 13 cities in China and is valued at $1 billion already. Can somebody deliver my coffee right now? I would like some <laughs> <laughs> so we talk a lot about delivery in the states in china it's on steroids they literally have everything delivered mm -hmm. there it's even worse and i'm going to use the word worse but it's even crazier there than it is here everything's delivered which is fantastic everything everything so you no longer have to go to a store <laughs> yeah you don't have to go to the store in china that's for sure and, and I wonder, all, a lot of it is all done on motorbikes and bicycles. So yeah, yeah. I mean, there's already congestion as it is, but I think it's just better on the bikes. I just wonder, I just wonder if it's like in big cities like here, right? Cause you, you're definitely not going into provinces somewhere else in the middle of nowhere either. Yeah. There's still a lot of places in China that are, that are undeveloped, but that's quickly changing as I keep reading. Um, I think, China, as we've seen, China is experiencing explosive growth in every in every form, uh, and especially in e-commerce. You look at, I mean, you look at all the companies that eat, that Alibaba has. It's incredible what's going on over there. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's interesting. I like it. More deliveries of coffee. More deliveries of coffee. There's no, you can never have enough coffee. So I'd really like to uh, dive deeper into this Luckin company because, and I hope my dad is correct here, but it says these guys started this year and already have 525 stores. <laughs> I mean, that is incredible. That's crazy. And if you guys get a chance, uh, go look at the, there's videos of the largest Starbucks. I'll put a, I'll put a link. There's a, a Chinese website that reports just on Alibaba stuff. And they did a tour of this giant Starbucks in Shanghai. And it is, is completely incredible. Yeah, that'll be fun. All right. Got anything else, Bart? That is it. All right. It's your commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.